How's everybody doing tonight? <clears throat> Hopefully everybody's doing good. Hopefully you guys had a good start to your week. Even if you didn't, God's always faithful. And he can turn it around in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So we got a really cool um, little thing that we have planned today. Hopefully it goes over well. Have a little, uh, well, got a little type of example thing in my bob that I'm going to do. And hopefully it goes over, <laughs> hopefully it goes over well. Because, you know, sometimes um, uh, I could be corny. So, but uh, anyways, when it happens, you guys let me know if it works. Whew. All right. Hello, Pebble. Hello, Autumn. Hopefully some teens join in. But if not, it will be uploaded, of course, on YouTube and on IGTV. <coughs> so I'm going to go ahead and get started. And it's going to be good. So, Lord, we just love you and we praise you right now, Lord. And we just pray, Father, for, uh, for your Holy Spirit to have, um, well, to direct us. And for you to have your way, let everything, Father God, on this stream just magnify you and bring you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so something really cool. Uh, it was, it's a, obviously it's a scripture. Um, Dad, Maribel, and myself, we looked at last night. Um, it, it was just awesome. So I don't know about you guys. We... Uh, a lot of us have physical Bibles. And then there's times where you don't have your physical Bible with you. <coughs> so you go ahead and uh, you can download Bible apps on your phone. Hint, hint, for you teens that have cell phones um, and you don't have a Bible, you can download a Bible app. Anyways, so we... Uh, on this particular app that we have, it gives us a scripture of the day. Um, and it, it goes seven days a week all the time. Every single day, it gives us a new scripture. And something that is really cool that the Lord does is there are no coincidences with the Lord. There's really not. And when you're talking about scriptures, um, the word of God can pierce you in a good way. It can it Just one scripture can change your whole day around. It can change your attitude. It can just change the way you look at something. It can just change everything. One scripture. That's the power of God's word. Literally one scripture can, can turn something around. I don't know anything else that can do that except the word of God. So uh, this particular scripture um, was 1 Thessalonians 5.17. And this was a couple of days ago. It just... Uh, we had remembered it last night and we looked at it again and it was very powerful for us. And so we wanted to give it to you guys because what we go through, you guys go through simply enough. You know, there's nothing different from us than to you. So 1 Thessalonians 5.17 was a pretty simple scripture. Pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. What does that even mean? Pray without ceasing. That means keep praying. No, it's not telling you to pray literally 24-7 and not have room to breathe. It's not what that's saying at all. <coughs> what it's saying is when you there is an opportunity to pray because let's just be 100% real. There is always something to pray. You guys know when your parents say, hey, there's always something to do. There's always something to go clean. Go do that. Go do this. Well, um, there is always something to pray. There's always a situation to pray for. There's always somebody that needs prayer. There's a, You need prayer. So there's always something that we can pray for. Certain things going on in you guys' life right now. Um, pray for it. You know, prayer is a conversation with God. You guys can pray. You know, we had a, and I know this is, we, we've used this example quite a few times, but we've had a young man in, um, in our youth group. He prayed for someone, and that prayer was powerful. Didn't have any special words to it. 
He didn't do anything outworldly. He just simply had a conversation with the Lord and something happened and something it was that something was good. So prayer is good, guys. And it's a it's a reminder for all of us. I don't want you guys to look at me and be like, man, KK got it all together. I don't. This scripture applies to me too. I need this scripture. I need to be reminded that I need to pray without ceasing. Because prayer is powerful. It's a part of our faith is to pray to God. Jesus opened that door for us to have a constant communication line to the Father. And we don't want to take that for granted. So I um, wanted to show you guys something. I got this glass. Okay. Now, <coughs> this glass. Think this, this is you. Okay. This is you. Right. Now, hold on. <coughs> so this is before you pray. Right. Let's say you just woke up. Okay. You see how it's empty. Literally, you can go your whole day without praying. And when you go your whole day without praying, talking to God, communicating with God, hanging out with God, spending time with Him, guess what? You're going to feel empty. And when you feel empty, like, let's just be real. If you have made the decision to follow God and you haven't talked to Him all day, um, Maribel likes to use this example all the time that if uh, I, okay, and I'm going to change it up a little bit, but. Her examples similar to this. We are married, right? And if I haven't talked to her all day and I've gone weeks without talking to her, is our relationship good? You know, you can apply that to your relationship with God. Now, God, yes, he's, he's very forgiving. He loves you. He has grace. He has mercy. But just being real, is your relate? And I'm asking you guys this. If you don't talk to your father, if you don't talk to God, who saved you, who has done millions and millions of things for you that you might not even know he's done some things that he's done for you. If you haven't talked to him in weeks and months, do you guys think you have a strong relationship? That's a question for you guys. And I want you guys to answer that on your own time. All right. Hey, Dominic. So here's an example. You wake up, okay, and you're empty, right? Now, when you are actually doing this scripture, praying without ceasing, you're having a conversation with God, and this is what's happening to you. Check it out. Get filled up. Get filled up. Keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. You're all good now. Look at that. And this is an everyday thing. You fill yourself up with the Lord. Fill yourself up with the Word of God. Having a conversation with God is the best thing that we can do. You know, praying for people, praying for situations. You, when you go, when you're praying, you can thank God for things that He's done in your life. Uh, you can worship Him in your prayers. You can praise Him in your prayers. There's so many things that we can do in our prayers. If you're confused about anything, like, Lord, I just read this scripture. Pastor KK was talking about it. I have no idea what it means, Lord. Can you help me with it? Lord, what does this mean? Yes, do that. Prayer is good. Lord, I pray. I studied for this test. And I just pray, Father, that um, you would just bring everything to, to remembrance so I don't forget anything while I take this test. You can pray for anything. Okay. Oh, yeah, and that's that's really good. Check that out. Maribel said we can then pour it out on others. So when you're conversating with God, you're spending time with Him. When you're spending time, remember who you're talking to. You're talking to the God of the universe who made everything. He made all the stars. He made all the planets. He made everything. And He wants to have a relationship with you. Don't take that for granted, guys. And so when you're praying to him, you're spending time with him, you get filled up. So then what you can turn around and do is you can fill up other people. You can pour out this to others. Meaning when you're praying, okay, let me make it simple for you guys. When you're praying to God, your attitude changes. When you're praying to God and you're consistently praying for things, your attitude changes. You start looking at things from a different perspective and things are different. 
you're less arrogant, you're less prideful, you're less likely to be all about you, and you're more likely to be all about others. So you pour in yourself out. You can pour out what God has given you to others. And guess what you're doing? That's a way to spread the word, spread the gospel. Shout out to Sabrina. What you did over the weekend was awesome. And I'm telling you, the Lord is happy. Very, very happy. So I just wanted to give you a shout out with that real quick. Um, So I have a challenge for everybody. And yes, for those who may not watch this video, we're going to post this challenge on our thread on Instagram. And the challenge is this. Okay. Let's do this scripture. Pastor Jose um, on Wednesdays and Sundays talks about this all the time. Do the scripture. You read the scripture, you do the scripture. Well, we're going to do that this week, starting right now. Okay. We are going to pray without ceasing. We're not going to stop praying. And no, again, I don't mean you're praying for 24 7. Not meaning that at all. What I'm meaning is, is when something, when something pops in your head that you need to pray for, pray for it or pray for them. Pray for that situation. We're all going through situations right now. Prayer changes things. So, and pick, pick one situation, one situation. And I want you guys to consistently be praying about that this week, because on Sunday, we're going to ask you guys how are you feeling about that situation? Because I'm going to be honest, I'm, I'm, I am confident in the Lord. I'm not being boastful or anything, but I'm confident in the Lord because he says that he is faithful to his people. And if we are humbling ourselves and thanking God for what he has done for us and we are bringing him our concerns and, and praying for other people and doing all this stuff, we're going to feel different about that situation come Sunday because that is the kind of God that we serve. Nothing may change. Your attitude might, though. This is the walk of life that we are on right now. So, so the challenge is to consistently pray this week. And not only consistently pray this week, you pick that one thing that you need to pray for and you pray for it. Don't don't be careful about doing doing this. Oh, I'll keep you in prayer. I mean, on the outside, that doesn't it's not a bad thing. But what happens, especially for me in my life, is I forget to pray for that person or forget to pray for that situation. So if you if so, if, if you're talking to somebody um, or, or you see something be like, man, I need to keep that in prayer. Just pray it right then and there. Because that's going to create discipline to consistently be in prayer. And I mean, you guys know that you can pray silently. You don't have to be going, ah, blah, blah. you don't, you don't always have to say it out loud. You can say it silently. You can whisper it. There's been a lot of times where I've done this. Did you guys hear everything I said? My lips were moving, but I was praying, and God heard that. You can be sitting in class. I speak from experience. You could be sitting in class and just be like, I am so tired, right? You're just thinking that, right? And just you can say a, a prayer in your mind, just like this. See, what I prayed in my mind was, Lord, I need, I pray that you would wake me up. I need to pay attention in class. See, you guys, it, it, you don't have to always, like, be a model in prayer, okay? All you have to do is communicate to God. God is faithful. God is God. He hears you. Silently, out loud, under your breath, he hears you. Just consistently pray, guys. And that is, that's, I'm not just directing that at you teens. I'm directing that at the grown-ups. I'm directing that at myself and the other leaders. We all need to consistently pray. So let's do this scripture. And come Sunday, we're going to see how we feel about a couple things. So with that being said, 
We love you guys. We're always praying for you guys. This Friday is going to be awesome. So when we reach out to you guys, see if you guys need to rise, let us know. All right, Lord, we just love you. We praise you. We thank you that you're faithful and that your ears are always open to us, Lord. And we just pray, Father God, to just consistently pray. And we pray, Father God, that in those moments where we may seem lazy, where we may seem like, I don't want to do it, that the Holy Spirit would just convict us to remember what the scripture says, to pray without ceasing. So, Lord, we love you. We praise you. We pray that each and every one of our teams or whoever is watching this, that they be safe um, and that they have a good rest of their week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, guys. Love you. See you Friday. Bye. Oh, also, early happy birthday to John Parks. Ah! <laughs> All right. Have a good night, guys.